Welcome back, everybody. We have another TTM video to get to. We got one return to sender here on top. We have a really old stamp, and then nine others to get to. Let's get started. We're getting autographs TTM, except for Mike Fishlin. We got this. Uh, he's donated Alliance for Smiles, and five dollars goes to his charity involving children impacted by cleft lip and palate free comprehensive treatment five dollars per signature which i probably would not have minded sending for such a great cause but he didn't send my cards back i sent him four cards through the mail ttm to get autographs and that's what i got back so he has my four cards i'd love to donate to his cause kansas city missouri is the next first one up uh last thursday or Wednesday, we have a, we received a card from Art Still, and then Thursday afternoon, this arrived in the mail. I assume it's from him. Yes, and he signed these in blue. There's his rookie on the eighty-one. That'll throw back to University of Kentucky, and then the eighty-four. Those are pretty cool. Thought this might be from Art Still. We received that letter from him uh, on. Wednesday, and then this came after I filmed last Thursday's TTM video. And there it is. There's the rookie card. He's got a great signature. 67 years old. Defensive end for 12 seasons. 78 to 89. From University of Kentucky. And 10 with the Chiefs. 2 with the Bills. And 4 times in the Pro Bowl. And he's in the Chiefs Hall of Fame. With 48 and a half career sacks. Went to UK as did his sister. Why is that a big deal? Well, his sister finished up at UK as the leading scorer in basketball history. And I'm talking male or female, the leading scorer in UK basketball history and leading rebounder of all time. And that includes some incredible players, Dan Issel being one of them. Just amazing, amazing art still family. Indianapolis, Indiana. How long did that take? 19 days, no fee for Art Still. Indianapolis, Indiana, Vegas, Ferguson. And there's his rookie, this 81. That's pretty cool. First year, as you can see there. Left Notre Dame is the all-time leading rusher. It says right there, holds several school records. Don't know if he still does. That all-time leading rusher record has been broken. That's for certain. I still think he's in the top five. But he's 66 years old. Played just five seasons, 80 to 84. First three with the Patriots. All-American at Notre Dame as the all-time leading rusher. 11 days, no fee for Las Vegas Ferguson. 11 days, no fee. Next up, parts unknown. Someone from somewhere. We got an old stamp in here too today. Stuck that one in the middle somewhere. There's George Middlewald. Rick Rennick still living. We'll send to him. We've got another card to pair up with that one. 72 tops. Jerry Kreider on the 69 tops. I'm unsure. But George Mitterwald sure has a great autograph. 77 years old. Did not sign the index cards. He caught for 11 seasons. 66 to 77. 67 he went back to the minors for a year of seasoning. First eight with the Twins. Then four with the Cubbies. 11 days, no fee for him as well. Vegas Ferguson and George Mitterwald. And we'll send that off to Rick Rennick. We'll check and see if Jerry Kreider's still living. If so, we'll send to him. 11-11. 11, 11. 11 for Vegas, 11 for George. This is the old stamp coming up here from Miami, Florida. Miami. This has been out at least seven months. Probably eight or nine. Jeez. Len Elmore. Beauty. <laughs> that's a pretty cool. I think that might be his rookie card. It is 74-75. Left Maryland as the school's number one all-time rebounder. Played center at 6-9. Mostly center. A little bit of power forward. Testing the ink on that index card. <laughs> 70 years old. 11 seasons. 74-84. First six with the Pacers, as you see here. Six points and five rebounds over the course of his career, which is basically what he did that first year, freshman year in the NBA. Kept that up his entire career. Then he became a longtime broadcaster, mostly in college, for several years. Earned his law degree in 1987. 
practiced in Brooklyn and New York City. He may still be practicing. Although we got that one from where? Miami, Florida. He may be retired and living in Florida now. Pretty cool to get that back. Let's count him up to go off record. Be right back. All right, we went off record, counted them up. Len Elmore, 224 days, 224, and no fee. Next up, Santa Ana, California. Santa Ana, California. Darren Nelson, pretty cool. This is from the Dave Brown collection, I'm sure. Got that 83 team leaders and 84 tops times two. Signed all of them, first time we've sent to him. Pretty solid back in his career. There's just starting out, 642 yards. Kickoff returns, receiving. Versatile guy. 642, 618, and 445 on the three categories. And right here, he led the team in receiving. 618. And rushing, 642. Valuable guy to have on your team. 64 years old. He played running back for 11 seasons. 82 to 92. Four. 4,400 rushing yards, 2,500 receiving yards, 23 touchdowns. College Football Hall of Fame for his time at Stanford. Had a great career in the Pac-10. Was Pac-10 all four seasons. Pretty cool. He worked at Stanford about 15 years after retiring. Been out a month, 30 days, no fee. 31 days, 31 days, no fee. Darren Nelson. Thank you to Dave Brown for those cards. Tampa, St. Pete. Florida, Florida. <laughs> Florida, Florida. Dion James. Dion James. Dion James. Pretty cool. All four teams are Indians, Braves, and Yanks. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Dion James, 60 years old. He played outfield for 11 seasons, 83 to 93 for a handful of teams. Played one season in Japan in 94. And he came back and played these two seasons with the Yanks, 95-96. Eight days, no fee for Dion James. Dion James. 88, 89, that's, 80, that's a 91 Donruss, and that's uh, 89 Bowman, big. Big card. Put that in the back since it's big. Eight days, no fee, Dion James. Orlando, Florida, Florida. Didn't trust my Dollar Tree envelopes, did they? Great guys. From Orlando, Ed Matter with the old postcard. 59 to 70. Uh, the Kellogg's card. He did not sign that. Maybe may have tried to, and the ink didn't stink. Stick. And then the 69 tops. Did not personalize. We sent some money with this one, I think. Trying to get him not personalized. Don't know if I asked him... <laughs> specifically in my letter or not i forget but that postcard is pretty old there that might be a rookie for him his rookie is the 63 tops if i'm not mistaken that may be a 63 post right there so that's a good card to have and it's not personalized which i think we sent him the uh 63 tops rookie card he personalized it ah, dang damn it but Ed Metter, put him in the Hall of Fame, why don't you? He's 85 years old. He played cornerback for 12 seasons, as he said there, 59 to 70. All for those L.A. Rams. He needs to be in the Hall of Fame six times in the Pro Bowl. 1960s All-Decade team, 46 lifetime interceptions, and five touchdowns. Put him in the Hall of Fame. Seven, eight, nine, ten days, no fee required. I think I sent him $10 and three cards. And I may have asked him not to personalize. I forget if I did not ask him, but he didn't. So that's cool. Parts unknown once again. New stamp, though. Parts unknown, new stamp. Johnny Robinson, nice, 70 tops. A little worse for the wear for the trip down to Louisiana and back. Did not put the Hall of Fame inscription. Sent him a $5 bill, I believe. He may take 10 for the Hall of, Hall of Fame inscription. And there's a Hall of Famer. He played safety. He probably thinks Ed Metter should be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> 84 years old. He, he was a contemporary of um, Ed Metter for sure. Metter's 85. Johnny Robinson's 84. He played 60 to 71. He played 59 to 70. So they're one year off. And Johnny Robinson played his entire career for the same team. Dallas Texans and Kansas City Chiefs when the Chiefs moved to Kansas City. 
six times all AFL, and he's on the AFL's all-time team. He's in the Chiefs Hall of Fame with Mr. Still. 57 career interceptions, so 11 more than Ed Better, but he was a safety, and he was in the Hall of Fame 2019. He probably thinks Ed Better belongs. 10, 11 days. I donated $5. 11 days. Next up, Parts Unknown once again. Man, lots of postmarks this week. Chris Chandler. Let's see here. Turned around backwards. Did not sign the index cards. Did sign three of three, though. 91 Ultra. 89 Pro Set, which may be his rookie. And 95 Score, which is pretty cool. Panoramic card. Horizontal look to it. Let's see if that 89 Pro Set is his rookie. I am. Yes, that is his rookie card. First year out of Washington. Pretty cool. Chris Chandler. Got that back pretty quickly. Under three weeks. 20, 19 days. No fee. Chris Chandler. We've gotten him back before. Two times in a Pro Bowl for Chris. He quarterbacked forever. 57-year-old who quarterbacked 17 seasons. 88 to 2004. And uh, did pretty well for himself. 29,000 passing yards. 170 touchdowns. And he married John Brody's daughter. How about that? 19 days, no fee. Chris Chandler. So that is it. What'd you think? Nine returns and a Mike Fishlin return. He took my four cards. That's quite all right. He can have them and maybe pass them out to others who donate to his charity. That's it. What'd you think? One Hall of Famer today, Johnny Robinson. One should be in the Hall of Fame, Eddie Metter. And then a Chiefs Hall of Famer with Art Still. What'd you think? Let me know down below as always. Love to read your comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, click right there. There's the icon of yours truly swinging the bat. Just click that and then ring the bell or click all, depending on how your software works. And then you'll be notified of all the future videos that I post. You don't have to go searching for them. They'll search for you. And if you missed last Thursday's TTM video, and I, uh, take a look at it there. You can watch it yourself. And thanks for being with me today. And we will see you soon.